1934, Ernest Hemingway ordered his 38-foot Wheeler Playmate fishing yacht, Pilar, from the Wheeler Boat Yard in Brooklyn, New York. He signed over his $3,300 advance check from his publisher, Charles Scribner's, as the down payment. His custom design innovations, including a trolling motor, a flying bridge, outriggers, and a fighting chair, set the new standard for deep sea fishing. Over the years, Pilar became the most famous fishing yacht in the world. The U.S. Coast Guard Boat Registry now lists only three Wheeler Playmates left afloat. Hemingway's Pilar dry docked behind his museum home in Cuba, actor Andy Garcia's Playmate restored for a movie, and a third owned by an East Coast physician. Recently, a classic 1930s Matthews cruiser was discovered by writer-documentary producer Bill McIntyre. McIntyre, who worked the decks of Catalina Channel charter boats like Sea Angler, Matt Walsh, Spitfire, and Eastwind, was seeking a Wheeler Playmate for his Pilar Legacy seagoing Hemingway literary charters. The 1930 Matthews has the truest Pilar lines and cabin style of all the antique classics. McIntyre is now purchasing the Matthews from an eastern boatyard for transport to Key West, where she'll be renovated and rechristened Pilar Legacy. Pilar Legacy will host parties on seagoing literary retreats where Hemingway's works will be read and discussed, his voice recordings listened to, and videos of him viewed. The Charter's galley menu will offer Hemingway's favorite French, Spanish, Italian, and Cuban country foods and wines. Each year, the Charter will hold an annual short story competition for unpublished writers. A percentage of all proceeds will go to Hemingway's Finca Home Museum in Cuba through the Boston-based Finca Foundation. The GoFundMe budget will complete the $25,000 boat purchase and transport to Key West. It will fund the $65,000 six-month fuel, electric, and fire safety systems upgrade from 1930 to 2018 Coast Guard standards. It will also fund the six-month docking and boatyard costs. In addition, the funding will budget the production of Part 1 of the Voyage of Pilar documentary to be shown on the charters, the first three months of charter operations, Part 2 of the documentary, Hemingway's Pilar Years, Key West, Cuba, and the charter's launch promotion and general overhead. The funding will also establish the Pilar Legacy Fund, endowing the seagoing museum and supporting new authors to honor the great writer's legacy. Ernest often wrote at sea on board Pilar. In 1937, he published To Have and Have Not about contraband running boat Captain Henry Morgan, played in the film by Humphrey Bogart. In 1941, when war was declared on Japan and Germany, he outfitted Pilar with guns and explosives and hunted German subs with an expat crew he dubbed the Crook Factory. Today I had no idea that I would win the award, but since I have, I'm very pleased. If I had not won it, I would congratulate whoever won it. Hemingway did not go to Stockholm to accept the prize, but wrote his acceptance. Writing at its best is a lonely life. Organizations for writers palliate the writer's loneliness, but I doubt if they improve his writing. He grows in public stature as he sheds his loneliness, and often his work deteriorates. For he does his work alone, and if he is a good enough writer, he must face eternity, or the lack of it, each day. For a true writer, each book should be a new beginning where he tries again for something that is beyond attainment. He should always try for something that has never been done or that others have tried and failed. Then sometimes, with good luck, he will succeed. How simple the writing of literature would be if it were only necessary to write in another way what has been well written. It is because we have had such great writers in the past that a writer is driven far out past where he can go, out to where no one can help him. I have spoken too long for a writer. A writer should write what he has to say and not speak it. Again, I thank you. It is the time of Che and Fidel. After Castro and Guevara's 5th of July guerrilla army arrive in Havana, Ernest hosts Fidel and Che on Pilar for the annual Hemingway Marlin Derby. In 1960, Hemingway left Cuba. His longtime Cuban mate, 
Gregorio Fuentes watches over Pilar until after Hemingway's passing, when Mary gives the legendary boat to Fuentes. After decades of weathering behind Hemingway's museum home, the Finca Vigia Foundation consulted on Pilar's restoration with the Cuban Ministry of Culture and Havana's Marlin Shipyard. Today, Ernest Hemingway's books are still read all over the world, though his death cast a pall over him and his work for a time. The Voyage of Pilar, legacy charters supporting the Legacy Fund, will serve to celebrate his literary genius and artistry for fans, and also introduce Hemingway to the new generations unaware of his great body of work. It is in the spirit of this great American writer and his timeless vision that we ask for your donations. For all those who donate $100 or more, we'll send you the bound copy of The Voyage of Pilar screenplay and copies of both documentaries as they come available. Ernest Hemingway was considered a writer about people and the times they struggled to live in. In these new days, so many are struggling to live in. The insights and wisdom in his works can serve us all in seeing our way forward with courage and hope. Your donations will allow us to bring the great works of Ernest Hemingway afresh to the world again.